Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and I am up first for UK Scrap Addicts this month. And this month we are concentrating on um, incorporating another hobby into our scrapbook layout. So um, I like to um, I like to crochet, I like to knit and crochet, I haven't done knitting for a while but um, I made these crocheted hearts. Now I am going to post a separate video um, on how to make these so if you are already a crocheter um, then this will be a little tutorial um, if you don't know how to make these and if you're not a crocheter then I encourage you to um, to give something else a go especially in um, in these times as we are at the moment try out a new hobby um, you do have to um, have some patience with crochet and don't give up after your first try um, and yeah just keep going keep practicing until you get it so what I'm doing here is I am doing a um, chain stitch so what I'm doing is I'm going up and coming down into the same hole and then leaving a loop and then pulling up through the next one so up so down into that same hole and then up into the next one and then pulling through that loop and I'm going to do a couple more as an example so down into the same hole, leaving myself a loop, coming up into the next one and then pulling that tight. So that is how you create a chain stitch. So I'm going to continue doing that the whole way around. And um, once I've done that, it looks like this. So I wanted a bit of a twirly, swirly, bordery line thing um, in order to have somewhere to... Um, almost attach my crocheted hearts to so I didn't want them floating on the page and um, I think the chain chain stitch looks really effective um, with these so I'm just deciding where roughly I want to um, add my crocheted hearts and I've done them in two different sizes so next up I've actually hand cut my photo I didn't have a punch um, and I couldn't be bothered to get my dies out um, but I didn't have a punch that would um, fit the size of the photo so I just decided to hand cut it um, and I think that's a lesson to us as well if we don't have the tools just don't be scared to um, to give it a go do it freehand and um, it's fairly even ish so this photo here is of my husband and um, he likes to mess around with the female Snapchat filters. Um, that's how he rolls. So um, I've had this one from uh, June last year in my box to be scrapped. So I thought I would um, add it on to this layout. And I've just literally got scraps of the, um, I think it's Heart Day by Crate Paper. Um, collection left so I've just dug out an older collection I'm really stash bashing at the moment um, I'm trying not to buy anything new until I get through quite a bulk of I mean I've got a lot of stuff um, and so um, this uh, exercise of stash bashing is really helping so because I want to lay that photo just over that chain that and um, that the chain stitch where um, it's got that loop. I'm just going to add on some foam dots and a little bit of ATG tape. And then I've laid it just underneath where that loop is so you can still see um, the loop on the chain. And I thought I would give a go um, at attaching the, um, the crocheted hearts in different ways. So first of all, I'm going to stitch a couple of them on. So I've just created um, three holes above the line and one below. So I'm going to come up through that first hole at the top and then down and grabbing onto that heart. And then um, up through the next hole on the right and then again down through the heart. And then up through the hole on the left and again down through the heart so the heart's just going to be attached um, by the strands at the top and I'm just going to re-tighten this one with another stitch because it was a little bit loose um, so yeah some of the hearts are going to be um, attached by 
stitches. So I wanted to show how um, there are multiple ways that you can add these sort of embellishments on to your layouts. And the back of my layout is an absolute mess um, because of all the washi, but that just holds down the, um, the strands of um, the embroidery floss. So I'm going to do the same again for um, this little red heart. And so I'm going to come up through the middle and then down through um, actually holding on to that heart. And again, those extra stitches will just um, secure it um, a lot better than if I was just to do one stitch. And I think it adds a nice little element as well, um, a different element to it with having it um, stitched on. So they will lie flat when um, when it goes into the page protector anyway. So, and obviously anything that you make that's um, crochet is naturally going to give you a little bit of bulk um, on the layout. But as long as every layout in my album doesn't have um, something that's crocheted on, then I'm not too fussed about uh, having something a little bit too bulky on one of my layouts. Um, it's not much thicker than a chipboard piece anyway, so... I'm okay with that. So I've also stitched on that red heart at the top as well. So next I'm going old school. I'm going to use some brads to attach some of the hearts. So in my stash I've got these red um, brad hearts. So I'm just going to use a couple of those to attach um, some of these crocheted hearts onto. So I'm just poking a hole through the paper um, and using that over the crochet. I'm just doing it in the middle um, where the natural um, hole of the uh, of the heart is. And I think they work so well um, with, uh, with this layout, especially because they're red and I've got the red um, the red hearts on there as well. So I'm just going to add this one onto that little white heart. And I think I had another red one onto that pink heart as well. So where I laid my hearts um, originally on the paper, they do end up getting shifted a little bit. Um, as I'm putting the layout together, they, um, they get moved around a little bit when I'm happier with the um, position of them. So I thought rather than having um, a whole load sort of individually along the chain stitch, um, I would try and cluster a couple of them in together. So um, here we go, I'm just clustering that one in and you can see that the third way that I'm attaching them is just using some wet glue, making sure that I'm putting plenty of glue on there. Um, not so much that it's seeping through. I mean, the stitch on this is quite closed anyway, so there's not a lot of holes to be able to see the glue through. So um, I'm fine with that and the glue holds, so... Uh, next up, I'm going to work on my title. So I've got these thickers in my stash and um, I saw this pink glittery word that says heart and I thought I would title this You Have My Heart. It works with that word. And um, I'm just going to use these tiny little white alphas to um, finish off the rest of my title. I'm just going to speed this up now. Um, there we are. So I've had to Frankenstein my E. I had no E's left. So I've used an F and just added on a little accent piece, um, a little um, line at the bottom from another one of the, um, the thickers. So again, these are from my stash. Uh, I can't remember which collection these are from. I think I got these in a, a retreat kit. So I'm just going to use up some of these because the colours and obviously the theme of the hearts work. And so I'm just placing these around the layout. So you'll see I am a bit indecisive about where I put these hearts um, and I'm just trialing them in different positions. And I decide to have my three clusters, um, one to the left. I do put that glittery pink heart there, but it does end up moving. Um, because I decide that um, I do want to make sure that I'm clustering uh, these in together rather than having uh, multiple areas of hearts. So again, that one I think ends up getting moved. 
So I end up with three clusters, one, one to the bottom left, one to the right, and then one to the top left just above my photo. Um, I wish I could have got that chipboard heart on that says um, you're a gem, but there was just no space on this layout for it. So you see here, I'm just adding in this um, chipboard piece again. These are from Heart Day and just getting my stash, my stash bashed. Um, you can see there that I'm really thin on the ground. I've got no 12 by 12 paper left. I've got a couple of six by six papers and a few scraps. And then maybe a third of the chipboard sheet. So that is all now on. Now I'm gonna work on the wet elements. Now don't do like I did. Um, I decided later on that I actually wanted to back my um, layout onto a piece of uh, patterned paper as well. Um, and I did it after I did the Nouveau drops, which is stupid because um, there's always the risk of smudging it. Um, so I just used um, some in coordinating colours and the ones that are quite milky actually um, dry clear. Um, so those will be uh, dry in a couple of hours and um, you'll see those. Um, in the photos if you want to head on over to the blog um, there'll be close-ups on there of this layout and um, also if you don't already um, head on over to our Facebook group and um, onto our Instagram go and give us a follow there as well um, we have all of the social medias so as I said this is where I am really risking it by um, doing my trimming down of my paper now but um, hey, I didn't manage to smudge any of those Nouveau drops or the um, the splatters that I put on. Um, so I'm fine with that. And I, I really like it on the pattern background as well. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. So thank you very much for joining me today. If you are watching on my channel, then be sure to head over onto UK Scrap Addicts and vice versa. And I'll see you next month for another layout with another theme. Take care, guys. Bye.